Welcome to The Lightning Round, brought to you by Moviga. I'm Steven with your weekly source for all things movies, video games, and more. Now grab your ponchos and let's catch up on this week's news. After rumors of Echo's troubled development, we got a surprise trailer and it actually looks pretty awesome. This will be the MCU's first foray into the TVMA world, or as Bubba would say, foyer, with a bloodied Wilson Fisk and the return of Red Suit Daredevil. How do you feel about the Disney bros snipping their toes into violent shows? Personally, I'm a little wary because so far these movies have been somewhat safe for kids, but I am happy to have gritty Daredevil back. The CW's Superman and Lois is officially ending after season four, wrapping up DC's longtime commitment to the CW. We had some good times, mostly not good, but there were some good ones in there underneath the thick leather superhero suits and teenager drama. So we bid a fond farewell to the DC CW verse and look to a brighter future with whatever James Gunn is doing. A Barbenheimer movie is officially in the works, but don't get excited. Not that anyone would. The budget is smaller than Ken's pants, and the plot sounds like it was written by the Sharknado team. The protagonist, Dr. Bambi J. Barbenheimer, leaves her home in Daltopia to visit humanity, but she has a bad time, so she decides to blow it all up. Personally, the whole Barbenheimer thing was kind of not funny anyway, but suddenly with this new movie, it gets even less funny. Ticket sales for the Marvels are tracking lower than some of the worst DC movies, though most reviews so far have said it's not bad. It's most okay, but it's not bad. I can appreciate them doing something very different with this movie, bringing in all these different characters and the whole swappy thing, but it might be a little daunting for some audiences to walk in knowing who these characters are from two different Disney Plus shows and a couple MCU movies. Personally, I do plan on seeing it, but probably when it comes to Disney Plus. Not because it looks awful, but my tummy hurts a little bit from MCU fatigue. It does seem like Feige is in the midst of a course correction, however, so I'm hopeful my tummy will stop hurting soon. A Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer is finally coming this December, with the game allegedly releasing sometime next year. GTA 5 came out 10 years ago, and it was incredible, so I am excited to see what's up Rockstar's sleeve for the next one, as long as I can go bowling with my cousin. Well, it looks like the storm has passed. Be sure to check out the Moviga podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcast, or anywhere you listen to that sort of thing, where we're talking all things movies, video games, and more. I'm Steven, and thanks again for joining me this week for The Lightning Round.